Okay, so you requested the Mate Smart download so you can try out the software yourself. Uh, we usually respond with an email. Here is one of them. And I'm just going to go through this email and point out the important parts of it. Um, first of all, we can and are happy to do an online demonstration with you where you don't even have to install the software. Uh, it'll be running on our server and you can ask any question you'd like and have the answer demonstrated immediately. Alternatively, if you'd like to download yourself and try it out on your own computer, you'll receive an email like this. And this is probably one of the most important parts here is where you actually download the software. So the way you do this is you'll, you'll go ahead and you'll click on this link and it will start the download. Okay, so you'll click save file and that will start the download. Okay, so while that's downloading, um, I'll point out some other parts of this. Uh, there's quite a few uh, training videos, instructional type videos on our website. And this is our main homepage. Uh, most of the training videos are located here on this link. So if you click on this, uh, it'll bring up a web page with a lot of different videos on how to do certain things within MateSmart, such as create work orders, um, preventive maintenance, and so on and so forth. Additionally, we have another site, uh, cmmsuniversity.com, and this is also loaded with a lot of uh, training videos. So as we go along, I'm going to get down here near the bottom, and we'll go over this again once we start up the software, but this will be the default login. It's D-E-F-A-D-M-I-N, and then the password is just four ones to log into the trial database. Now there's also an empty database with the demo and I suggest you start with the trial database just to see how the program flows and we'll get into that in just a moment. Okay, continuing, so our download is created and here it is, so I'll click on that and I'll choose run. Now it's very important that you're logged in as a full system administrator uh, just due to all the security issues and so on with today's uh, software installations you'll need to be logged in as a system administrator. So um, if you are, then go ahead and click on that run and the program will start the installer. Okay, as the software installer starts, you'll get a screen that'll pop up. Now we use a simple install shield installer. Um, and it'll begin by installing the uh, MateSmart Crystal Report prerequisite. Now, this is required uh, not in all situations, but in many, as MateSmart needs various system files in order for the main installer to run. Now, these system files are the latest available from Microsoft, so we always use the latest. So in all likelihood, if this is the first time you're installing MateSmart, you probably will need to install this. Now it may take a while. This, depending on how fast your connection is, it may download some things it needs from Microsoft and it could take several minutes. So uh, be patient and um, once you get past this stage, the rest of the installer goes quite fast. So I'll pause right here while this is installing. Okay, so it took probably about three to four minutes for uh, those uh, prerequisite files to install. And you'll get a couple of screens in some cases, uh, just click OK on those. And then next we'll get to the actual installer of the software. So we'll just follow the prompts, um, accept the terms, click Next. And then if you want to change the default installation uh, location, you can do so here. I recommend just going with the default. And then you'll click the Install button and the program will install. And I'll go ahead and pause again here while this is installing. And continuing, uh, it's still doing its installation and you may get some different messages uh, as it's going through this. And I'll go ahead and pause again. Okay, so the installer is continuing. Um, we're probably 
six or seven minutes into this from starting it on a clean computer, uh, installing the prerequisite and getting to this point. So uh, it is a big program. It does quite a bit. So it may take a few minutes to install, depending again on the speed of your uh, computer as well as, and probably more importantly, uh, the speed of your uh, internet connection. Okay, so it looks like the installer is finishing up here. Um, and I'll go ahead and click the finish button. And so the software is now installed. And once it finishes installing, you'll get a screen icon that you can double click with your left mouse button and that will start up the program. Okay, so in some cases, it may take a while for the program to start the first time, especially if it's unlicensed, as the program is doing various housekeeping chores, uh, registering some files, uh, doing some configuration um, tasks in the background, and then it's also checking the license. So this is the software in demo mode, and it is the full software program. Uh, it does run for 30 days, has 29 days here, so I guess it's 29 and you'll be presented with this NAG screen to start with. And over here we have what's called the system ID. We're not going to do anything with this unless you decide to purchase the software. So what we'll do is we'll just leave this running in demo mode. So in this case, we'll just click the continue button and the software will run after that. Uh, and additionally, um, this is the full software program. The only limit is the time on it. And there are some record limits too on the record count. So I click continue. And now once I've clicked continue, uh, I'll be presented with this tip of the day screen. Now the important thing here is not so much the tips. The important thing here is the database option that you choose. Now I recommend you don't use the empty database to start with unless you're experienced with the program already. It's better to try a demo database that has some data already populated in it. And that way you can kind of get a general flow of the program. Now the manufacturing database is a bakery, commercial baking operation. It has quite a bit of data in it. And the building maintenance one is a, is a college or a school and it's got much less data in it. So I'm gonna go with the manufacturing demo database. So I click use demo database and I'll be presented with a login screen. Now, for the purposes of the demo, we've used what we call bypass logins, and this just gives our demo users an easy way to try out some of the various user groups. Uh, the admin or administrator user group uh, is a group that can do anything in the software, so I suggest you use it, otherwise you'll be limited in where you can go uh, during your testing period. Additionally, if you'd like to try a different language, uh, MainSmart is completely translatable into any languages, any, any language, and we've added uh, 10 different languages uh, to the software. So these are machine translations, so they're not obviously uh, that accurate, but we do have a translator in the program that you can use to translate data, uh, item labels, messages, and so on in bulk. And so you can uh, customize your translation very quickly in MainSmart. So alternatively, instead of clicking the red button here, I could log in with a password. And generally, with, with the production use of the software, each user will have a password. And therefore, they'll be associated with a role which will uh, dictate what they can and cannot do within the software. So in this case, I'm just going to click on Administrator. And I'll get welcomed. Click OK, and I'm now in the software. So we have these navigation buttons at the top, and in this case I have the screen shrunk down a little bit so it'll fit into this video, but uh, in all likelihood you'll see all the buttons all the way across. So the yellow background buttons are configuration, the green are uh, analysis and reporting, and these uh, gray or, or light colored background buttons on the left side are your day-to-day -day data input. And I'm not gonna get too involved with how to use the software in this video. There'll be uh, several subsequent videos, and there are already many instructional videos 
on how to use the screen. 